Hey guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So today we are heading to Phoenix. It is Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, so I need to get to the airport right now. But like always, I'm a little later than I want it to be, but I am just about ready. I just need to put on a jacket and I'll be ready to go. But let me show y'all the airport fit real quick. I'm over here doing this like I'm not just a little bit late. Let me see. Okay, let me show y'all the airport fit. And I'm gonna put on probably a jean jacket. But this is how we looking. Camo pants, Vomero fives. Okay, here we go, here we go, I'm super excited. Oh, you guys, this is also a solo trip, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. We are going to have fun together, so I'm glad you all are coming with me. <laughs> but yeah, here are the shoes. The shoes are super fire with this outfit. This is a really nice fit. Okay, so. I told y'all I am bringing out that 40 inch wig. So yes, the outfit is given. I look cute. Like, okay, get it from the back, from the back. But yeah, let me go ahead and head to the airport, you guys. I hope you all enjoy this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany and let's get into this video. So I wanted to show you all the shoes up close one more time. I love Vomero Vibes. They are so cute. They kind of give that New Balance feel. So I'm flying from Memphis straight to Phoenix and Memphis's airport is never too bad. So I had time to spare when I got to my gate and through security. The flight was only two hours and a half, but we also went back like two hours. So I did land at nine o'clock in the morning, but look at that beautiful land. <laughs> Guys, we are in Arizona. Well, Phoenix, Phoenix. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to go pick up my luggage and I think I may take the self-driving car right now. I'm not sure, but yeah. And we have to get an edible, some edibles like right now, immediately. So we made it to the flower shop is what I'll call it. I'm not sure if YouTube lets me post this kind of content, but yeah, if you know, you know. So I decided to do something different and check into a boutique hotel. This hotel is called Rise Uptown. And upon your check-in, they give you two popsicles. Some have alcohol in them. They have this cool little freezer stand. This is the check-in desk. So you get your popsicles and head up to your room. They also have records over there and you get three records in your room. So this is just like an old school style place almost. So you can trade in your records throughout your stay and kind of switch your music up. Like this is really supposed to be vintage, but updated, which I thought was super cool. And everyone there was so nice, you guys. There's not that much light in here, but this is like a boutique hotel. So it's a little different, but it was all over TikTok. So I was like, let me try this place. They give you two free popsicles when you check into your hotel. Bam. And these are alcoholic. They have alcoholic and non-alcoholic popsicles, but alcoholic. Let me show you all this room. It's it's small, but it's cutesy. It's very cutesy. Y'all know, I really like orange, so that's cool. This popsicle's so good, y'all. Mm, mm, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let me show y'all this room. You can pull it up or pull it down and make the light a little brighter. So let me show y'all this, hold on very cute big bed i love that wallpaper it's supposed to be like very vintage 70s like which i thought was cool and they put a record player in your room and you get three albums here's the mirror cute i am loving this popsicle y'all then of course it's a full length mirror you gotta have a nice full length mirror so you have a nice marble shower of course you need that um soap is on the wall shampoo um, conditioner, I believe. Toilet. Toiletries in there. And yeah, that's the whole room, you guys. Let's see what's in here. Oh, so they have like a cooler, so that's cool. And y'all, my freaking Lyft driver, he was real cool until the end. Like, he asked me a question like, does anyone know you're here? What? <laughs> what? At that point, I text my sister so fast, I'll text you when I get to my room. And then, when he took my bag out the car, he was like, do you want me to walk you to your room? <laughs> Creepy smile. 
I think not. So yeah, I'm probably gonna order some in and out take my little gummy, and then I'm going to um, go to the pool. So I'll see you all in a little bit. This thing here, I'm probably just gonna get this same flavor because you get two free popsicles. So I'm just gonna get this all over again. Okay y'all, so one of the things I was most excited about was to get some in and out but it looks like in and out is not on um, Postmates, Uber Eats, or DoorDash. So I'm gonna have to go there. So that means we are about to get in a self-driving car y'all. So let's go ahead and get in that car. And that would be way better. See, that's why people act like I'm crazy for wanting to get in a self-driving car. But at least Lyft drivers aren't saying kind of weird things to you. A lot, Most of my Lyft drivers are really cool. but And that man was really cool. And then at the end, he was being kind of weird. So at least you don't have to deal with that. So I'm going to take the self-driving car and see how this goes. It's going to be so fun! I'm excited I'm excited when okay y'all when I was a kid I used to have bad dreams about like a car drive we'll talk about this in the car hold on so I was thinking I would be scared to be in a hotel where it's like open like this you know like the door is like just open I actually really like this because I feel more comfortable taking pictures and things like out here like this this is cool like I got a lot of picture taking opportunities bunch of cute grass opportunities like I am going to look so nice tonight yeah, I want to show you all the actual hotel. Okay, that buzzing was really annoying me. So I'm going to just do a voiceover for the rest of this. But this is the outside of the hotel. And it has a very cool pool area. A lot of people get like a resort pass and just like stay at the pool. Like you get a pass just to go to the pool. And that pop stand is like the lobby area where you check in. So it just looks so beautiful. I'm just not used to seeing all of this like desert like stuff like i feel like memphis doesn't have anything like this like i really love phoenix so far so it also has a rooftop bar but that's only open thursday through sunday and i was leaving on wednesday okay guys my ride is here it only took maybe five minutes to come so they're always super close and they're all over the city but if you look closely up top it's a camera and it gives the car the view of everything so it can see all around it so the handles are pushed inside and you have to use your app to unlock the doors. Okay, y'all, I'm going to start the ride. Oh my God. I know, from Wemo. <laughs> we are doing this. This is really insane. This is insane. Okay, I'm putting on my seatbelt for sure. Oh, this is so insane. So let me know in the comment section if you all would do this. I think it's so cool. I wish every city had it. But you're able to put your music on. And it also has music on it. So you don't have to hook your phone up to it or anything. But this was so cool. And they run 24-7. So even if it's late at night, you can take one of these instead of being with a stranger. Okay, so I made it to in and out safe and sound. And y'all, I don't know... Their fries are not the right texture, but I like it. Like, you can't get that texture anywhere else. It's so weird, but I still really like it. I absolutely love In-N-Out, you guys. Like, it just hits. And I don't know if it's greedy. I got a double burger or what, but it hit the spot all right. It definitely hit the spot. It kept me full long enough, but those fries are just really interesting. It's not for everyone. Everyone is not going to like it. So, yeah. I'm not sure if everyone has that food that they can just keep down when they drink too much or cures a hangover, but for me, it's hot funyuns. It's the only thing I can keep down when I drink too much. So I got some hot funyuns just to be safe, and also I got some Prosecco and a little makeup for my lace because I felt like my lace was not lacing. But I didn't know Kroger in Arizona is called fries. It's literally the exact same. Okay guys, so I decided to sit in the front this time and this is really weird because I'm in a busy store parking lot. It's pedestrians crossing. This is the real test. This is insane. <laughs> like, wow. Like, I don't know how this car knows someone is crossing. Like, it must be, I guess that's one camera up there. I don't know. That's pretty cool though. This Waymo stuff is just so amazing for people who hate talking to people like me. Like, 
no awkward conversations with Lyft drivers and this goes 24 7 it's the super cool thing so if it's like a 1 a.m. ride it's super late you don't want to have a man driving you or somebody like creepy driving you you can just do it yourself and y'all I feel so safe and comfortable like I really feel like this feels fantastic like I love it but yeah I'm heading back to the hotel I'm going to get in the pool get this little drink I wanted oh and take my edible you guys I gotta show you all what I got okay y'all I'm back in my room I'm about to change into my swimsuit fix my hair a little bit and take my edibles hold on let me open this for you all yeah I'm gonna take my edibles super excited let me see how the heck you open this thing oh it's so oh pinch here there you go here and do what I'm gonna tear a hole in here hold on okay y'all so I got a brownie here some gummies so I don't know I might have to take me a little nibble of the brownie but yeah let me take these gummies we'll take one gummy these things really don't have an effect on me just I don't think this uh, affects me at all hmm well that's delicious I really want to eat like five of these this is delicious now in this brownie i definitely smell it yeah, that's disgusting that's really nasty so i made it to the pool i thought these little pigtails just ate i gotta do this style a little more often but it looks so pretty the lighting was beautiful and the pool looks like a little garden which is really cute i'll show you all the views for sure but this was a mood very hot so it was perfect you guys but it's a little shaded at this pool, so it wasn't that bad. Just when you step on the concrete. Do not step on the concrete with your bare foot. So if you watch my channel, you know I went to Disney World a little while earlier. But this was like an adult Dole Whip, which is a really famous thing at Disney. And I wanted to show you all, it has so much liquor in it. Like, I don't like liquor. Like, I enjoy wine, but I don't like the heavy stuff. Like, it was so disgusting, but the actual... Dole Whip part was so good. <laughs> I had to hurry up and get back to my room. I left the pool so fast because I felt the gummy or brownie, whatever, kicking in a little bit. My eyeballs were just a little dry and my tongue is a little dry. But um, I need to take a nap before dinner. So I'm gonna try to take a nap. So I wore this orange sunset dress and it was just giving Phoenix. I'm gonna put some more pictures of me in it because I took some, but. I just ate the girlies up and I just thought the downtown area of Phoenix just looks so beautiful like I love this vibe I thought I would miss grass a lot but this looks so cool to me and of course I rode in my Waymo like I love this thing so the restaurant I went to was called Paloma and it was like an Asian fusion restaurant. So I got these popcorn chicken bites. They were really good. And then you add a little jalapeno pepper and it just hits. Um, I also got a mojito and they serve it in a little takeout cup, which I thought was super cute. I love a weird fun cup. So these garlic noodles, I don't really like noodles that much. It just wasn't good to me. I feel like this could have been good, but the texture of the noodles was just not hitting. So... I saw this on TikTok. I went to the bathroom and if you keep walking, you end up in a secret bowling alley, which is so cool. And this place was so pink and vintage. I'm sorry my camera was a little greasy, but I just feel like it was so aesthetically cute. You see so many like old school games there, which was really cool. Good morning, guys. It is Drake Day. Ah! Okay, so... <laughs> I am about to go get coffee downstairs. This hotel has a coffee shop connected to it. Then I'm going to go to the Desert Botanical Gardens, possibly the zoo because I think it's still gonna be early because I think it is, it's 6.42. I'll probably be ready around 7.40, get there by eight. I don't know, probably just Desert Botanical Garden. I think that's the plan. We'll see how fast I can get ready and I might take some pictures. I took some cute pictures last night, but let's go get some coffee, you guys. So here is the coffee shop I was telling you all about. It's called Cartel and they have little drinks over there and they also serve like your normal latte, cappuccino, espresso type drinks. The coffee was okay. 
it was just okay and they also have little desserts okay y'all the hotel room is a mess but this is how we are looking um i might go outside so you all can see me a little better but i think i'm gonna bring my tripod because i think i'm gonna want to take pictures at the garden but yeah this is how we're looking and i'm pre-gaming the garden with a little prosecco i'm a prosecco girly for sure even if my name was natalie nani you bitches still can't check me so the garden looks so beautiful it really felt like i was in like this desert garden it was so cool there were people all around i stood here with my tripod and took a picture it was so many good places to take pictures i'm gonna insert my pictures uh tell me why these people were just staring at me while i was taking my pictures but they stared at me like it was like i was a work of art or something so i wasn't insulted i let them do it but i had never seen cactus fruit i think that's what it is i thought that was really cool like seeing a cactus is really an amazing experience i don't see how some of you see them every day and they're just normal after the garden i went to this black owned brunch spot called brunch and sip and apparently this place gets crazy on the weekends and let me tell you, first of all, they had so many amazing things on the menu, so many amazing drinks, but I'm a mimosa flight kind of girl. I love a good flight, especially a mimosa flight. And they had some of the best flavors. So I ended up getting the lobster mac and cheese and y'all, the amount of pieces of lobster in this mac and cheese was unreal. They were the biggest chunks ever. It had a little bacon in it. Oh, so this is my mimosa flight and the flavors are so weird and different. Like it was an apple something, kiwi something. Like it wasn't your normal ones and they switched them out all the time. So that was really cool and they were all delicious, you guys. So yeah, the flights were amazing. So I ended up also getting the chicken and French toast. You could get chicken and pancakes, but I ended up going with French toast and it was so good. And that's how the lobster mac and cheese looked when they first brought it out. Like they put the little shell on there, it looks so pretty, but you have like party wings on top of the French toast and y'all, it was just so good. It was absolutely delicious. Somebody from the South made this and I was a little scared about the mac and cheese because it didn't look super cheesy. But y'all, it was so cheesy when you actually dive into it. I was so surprised. Like, I guess I'm used to people putting shredded cheese on the top and like making it look like cooked. But this was so good. It was amazing. So I had to show y'all this lobster again because it was just like eating a meatball of lobster in your mac and cheese. Like, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, it is time for the Drake concert, you guys. I ended up wearing this orange dress I got from Baby Boo with the Gucci sandals. I wasn't too crazy about my outfit, but I thought it was cute. Like, it gave. I'm sorry the room is so messy. Like, it just gets like that sometimes. But, yeah, very cute. And I ended up crimping my hair. So, I had general admission, which is floor access where there are no seats. So, I got there early but not early enough i decided to get some merch for some reason and the merch line was super long y'all see that line back there that is the merch line and it's two of them but i ended up getting them in the line and i got there at about six and i was maybe two rows back from the barrier so the drake concert was everything i wanted it to be and more i am drake's biggest fan i just absolutely love him he is my favorite rapper then comes Nicki Minaj, of course, but our surprise song was Finesse and Wu-Tang. He says he loves Phoenix, so he just showed up for Phoenix, but I love Phoenix too. It's just an amazing city. It's so much fun, and the show was super hype. Like, I loved it. I ended up being pretty close and all that, so it was amazing, and let me tell you, that Mr. 21 Savage is actually pretty attractive in person y'all like um okay i see what lotto sees in him for sure so i woke up around 3 40 the next morning to get ready for this hot air balloon ride at sunrise 
And of course I wore my little Chanel shoes, cutesy, cutesy. But y'all, this is also the day I'm leaving. So I got a lot accomplished this day. So follow me here. But I had to take a lift ride out to the business. It's called the Rainbow Riders and they start you off at the actual business place. And this is where you're going to sign your waivers. And then they're going to load you up in those vans back there. And on the back of the vans, you can see is the hot air balloon basket and the actual balloon. A lot more goes into flying a hot air balloon than I thought because we ended up going to different locations and they did a test on the wind to see if it was perfect for takeoff. But once they found the perfect location, we all were able to get out of the van and they inflated the hot air balloon right in front of us, which was super cool. It was a nice sized basket. He told us that basket could hold up to 24 people, but it was only 10 of us. It was a nice amount of people, nothing too crazy. And our instructor was super fun and cracking jokes the whole time, even in air. So you could see it better from the other video, but the thing that is blowing up that balloon is literally a fan, a normal fan. Well, I don't know if it's industrial or what, but that looks like a normal fan to me. So that blows it up and then the fire, the propane keeps it afloat. And of course, I just had to take some cutesy videos with the fire and balloons behind me, but eventually that fire is going to make it stand up straight like the one on the left. And just like that, you guys, we were in air. You can see the fire behind me. And let me tell you, that fire is super hot. You can feel it on the top of your head, the back of your head or whatever. But I had really one of the best positions in the basket. Well, let's say it's four great positions. But I was on the corner and I was not scared at all. This is actually a fantastic experience. Like if you're normally scared of heights, I say try a hot air balloon. It is not scary. The landing is not scary. The takeoff is not scary. It's just very calm. Like I was expecting something a little more intense and scary, but look at those views, whoa. And then you see the other balloons going up. It is absolutely gorgeous. But I was expecting something a little more scary. Like maybe I could try skydiving. But let me shut up so you all can enjoy these beautiful views. Turn it on our GPS app. We have this. So the community is to our east over here, right in the direction of the sun. That's the Cave Creek and Carefree area. That is Carefree Highway that runs. So you're in the air for about 45 minutes, and once you land, they prepare a champagne toast in the middle of the desert or wherever you were. And here he is. We ended up having like five bottles of champagne amongst 10 people. So I ended up drinking a lot of champagne. He also had like a little bottle of orange juice and a little bottle of cranberry juice so you can make a nice little mimosa. Mind you, this is probably around eight or nine in the morning by this time, but it was super cool. The champagne was fantastic. And he also did a little prayer. And so well that God has joined you in your laughter. He accepts you gently. I can see loving arms of Mother Earth. Cheers. 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 Surprisingly, I did not see too many black people in Phoenix, but a lot of black people were on the hot air balloon ride, which was so cool. And I ended up meeting a really cool black couple. A lot of the black people I met in Phoenix had just moved to Phoenix. I really think it's gonna pop off soon. Let me find out, it's gonna be like Atlanta soon. But of course, this was me in the van on the way back to the Rainbow Riders facility where we originally got into the vans. And here I am, still got my champagne. Once I got back, I decided to get breakfast at a place called Breakfast Bitch. You can see the guy's shirt behind me, but of course I was pretty tipsy. So I was like, let me keep on my sunglasses. And I always use that little box to prop up the camera. But yeah, I was just a little tipsy trying to get all this together. <laughs> like, I feel like she peeped the camera a little bit. Like, what is she doing? But yeah. So I really wanted some kind of pancake and chicken or waffles and chicken. So I got pancakes, hash browns. I'm not usually a hash brown girl, but I'm like, let me try that. 
And then they hooked me up with like a little chicken patty because they didn't serve it on the menu, like chicken and pancakes. So I just slapped it on the pancakes. They taste like McDonald's pancakes, but hey, it was pretty good. So by this time, it's about 10. And of course, checkout at a hotel is usually around 11. And I'm going home today. So I ended up packing up all my stuff and deciding to make today a spa day because my flight wasn't leaving until 7. And let me tell you, this was genius. So I went to the Phoenician Spa, which is a very high-end luxury experience. It was so beautiful. And I know the NBA players stay at this hotel when they're in Phoenix. Like, this is a very top-tier hotel. So I also believe High School Musical 2 was filmed in this hotel. Or at least on the golf course when Zac Efron was singing um, Bet On It. That was here at the Phoenician, which I, that scene is played in my head. But here's the spa, you guys. So it was really cool. It was supposed to be like a Phoenix Rising. Like, look at that tall door. Of course, they have little treats for you. Chocolate covered strawberries. Um, citrus water. I am a sucker for citrus water. I do that at my place now. I was just drinking this nonstop. It was fantastic. I love the beige natural tones. It looks so beautiful and clean. The staff was fantastic. So my massage cost $215 and you get access to the spa all day until they close around 5.30 or something. So you can go. So my massage wasn't it till two o'clock and you can go as early as they open and spend the whole day there. You have access to the spa the whole day. So even though I checked out of my hotel, I had them hold my luggage and I was able to chill at this spa that whole time instead of being at my hotel or just sitting in the airport since you do have to check out at 11 a.m. So there are the lockers, very cute, changed into my robe and all that. Uh, I got my massage. I don't know what that man did. I feel like he touched something in my neck and made me go to sleep because I just don't even remember this massage. It was the fire and ice massage, but I mean, I think it was good. So they also have a quiet relaxation room, which is basically a nap room. You get a blanket, it's quiet, you can hook up your phone, and it's just chill. I took a nap there before my flight, and by the time I woke up, it was time for me to head to the airport, you guys. Let me say, I just absolutely love Phoenix. Like, the desert vibe, just the restaurants, all of the cool advancements and technology. I love it. And, of course, I went to the Centurion Lounge. I'm an Amex holder. And let me tell you, the food in the Centurion Lounge is so good. Like, it's actually, like, dinner. Like, I got chicken and gravy, some kind of pot roast, and um, scalloped potatoes. It was so good you guys like amazing i loved it 10 out of 10 but thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoy being in phoenix remember to like comment and subscribe 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 follow me on instagram at madam Brittany, and thank you all so much for watching have a great day you guys bye